Greetings in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. It is yet another Thursday evening approaching the midnight hour and I'm so glad that God gave me yet another opportunity to come in prayer on to be able to come in prayer. So I will start with scripture John 3 16. So God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. Father God, I just thank you for your grace, your mercy, your favor. I thank you for this new day, Father God. And we thank you for your precious son who died on the cross for all of our sins and rose with all power. And for that, Father God, we ask that you pardon us from our sins, those we committed intentionally or unintentionally, and even the things we failed to do out of our own stubbornness and pride. And Father God, we invite the Holy Spirit in this prayer right now to be with us. And your word says, when two or more gathered in your name, that you'd be in a mist. And I thank you for my prayer partners who touch and agree with me. Cadence Baptist Church, my home church that is, their 6 p.m. daily prayer call. Second Baptist Church of Ann Arbor, they have a morning prayer call every Wednesday morning at 7 a.m. The Allen Group who pray every morning, the Morning Glory Group, as well as Elder Allen and those other family and friends that touch and agree with me, Father God. And we pray for every church um, that's open in your name and kingdom building, that you will continue to cover them as well as they are able to share your word. As I was reminded of um, by a pilot that when we speak of John 3, 16, oftentimes we do not speak of John 3, 17, which speaks of that Christ did not come to condemn us, but he came to save us. And Father God, in that message, we pray that is shared, especially during this Lenten season as we sacrifice things that we've don't forget the whole thing not only that he died on the cross for our sins and rose with all power but he did that not to condemn us but to save us and father god i pray that someone is encouraged on this day to try you for themselves and to accept you as their personal savior father god and in that um just the joy it is to live with Jesus. And we thank you for your protection. Um, sometimes we go through things or think it's a storm, but you're keeping us, Father God. And, and I come to know that being still is far different from being stuck. And I just thank you for that. And um, I just rebuke the enemy, Satan's plan of deception to deceive us and to not um, have us to understand that you didn't come to condemn us, but to save us, Father God. And, and also, <clears throat> I'm praying for a breakthrough. Someone struggling with something right now, Father God, mentally, physically, emotionally, financially, spiritually, Father God, bereavement, grief, anxiety, stress, um, a situation in the courtroom, Father God, but we know that it is nothing too hard for you. As a matter of fact, Father God, I, I pray a special covering over the Supreme Court and, and grateful for its new member, the Honorable um, Supreme Court Justice C um, elect that is Katanji Brown Jackson, Father God. And, and I just pray over that court, Father God, as they render decisions that they will be convicted of what is the law, but more importantly, being fair and treating people with decency. And we know that that wasn't done um, during the, during the um, hearing process, Father God. And I pray for all of those who are working midnight shifts, our law enforcement, our first responders, medical personnel, people working in transportation, hospitality. Father God, we all need each other. And if the pandemic the last couple of years haven't taught us that, Father God, I just pray that people will wake up and know that we have to work together, that we need each other, Father God, that you put us here so that we can work together. And I pray for the Sly family. Family, as they had an awesome um, homegoing celebration for, for the matriarch of that family. And I also pray for the Gaffney family um, in bereavement and 
all those who are bereaved right now, Father God. And I pray for our college kids, well, young adults, as well as everyone in a school system to be covered, to go to school to learn, and um, in learning to treat people with each other with decency, Father God. And, and I just pray a cover covering over their protection as they are seeking to learn, as well as the providers, the educators, and all of the support staff, that this educational system will change and be better in, in every form, and that you would have your hand on it, Father God. And I certainly thank you for my family. I thank you for my friends. I pray for every church again that's open in your name. And I'm so grateful for my home church, Cadiz Baptist Church of Detroit, and Senior Pastor Greg Foster. I continue to pray for them and to lift them up. Again, my family, my friends, and for the work that I do, Father God, I just thank you for your grace and your mercy. Continue favoring. And for, again, every church who have a sick and shut-in list, Father God, I just pray that you will touch it. And we know that you to be the healer, Father God. We know you to be everything we need. And we thank you. And um, I just want to say thank you. Thank you for this new season, a new time. And so with that being said, you left us in peace. And I too would say peace in the matchless name of Jesus.